Hi everyone! Thank you for deciding to go on a journey of preparing and passing the ice to Foundation level exam with us. Let's begin. On May 9, 2023, the ice introduced the new version of the Certified Tester Foundation level exam, version 4.0. Since then, both versions are active and valid for taking the exam. It brings a lot of confusion to those people who have been preparing for the exam for some time and to those people who have just decided to prepare for the foundation level certification. Candidates have such questions as, I'm almost halfway through the preparation for version 3. Do I need to stop and start preparing for the new version? I haven't started preparing for the exam yet. Is it better to prepare for the third version or for the fourth version? Let's try to find answers to these questions. Let's start with short answers. If you are a new student, we recommend preparing for the new version of the exam. We will talk about the differences between versions in detail in a minute, but it's easier not to overthink it and just prepare for the newest version. If you have already started preparing for version 3.1 or if you have already registered for the version 3.1 exam, don't panic. You can continue to prepare for version 3.1 and pass it. The version 3.1 exam will be available until May 2024. There are two main reasons not to panic. The first is that foundation level certificates do not have an expiration date and are valid lifetime. Formally, it does not matter whether you have a 2018 version 3.1 certificate or 2023 version 4.0 certificate. In any case, you are a lifetime certificate tester. The second reason not to panic is that the 2018 version 3.1 will be valid until May 2024. You have plenty of time to finish preparing for the version 3.1 exam and pass it. Let's take a look at the structure of our course at Udemy. Due to the fact that there are two versions of the exam, our course has doubled in size. It now consists of two parts identical in structure but different in the content of questions. Half of the course, which consists of eight lectures in total, refers to version 3.1 retiring. We start the title of each lecture with words version 3.1 retiring, so that you know that the content refers to this particular version. If you have already started preparing for version 3.1, you can continue. We did not make any changes to the content in 3.1. We only changed the names of the lectures. If you are a new student, but you want to prepare for the version 3.1 2018 and not version 4.0 2023, then start with the lecture version 3.1 retiring, enter to the certified tester foundation level. If you are a new student and want to prepare for version 4.0 2023, then start with the same lecture, enter to the certified tester foundation level, but it should start with keywords version 4.0, new. In this lecture, there will be more information about the structure of the IS2QP exam and our approach to preparing for the exam as well as study materials. Now, let's move on to a lengthy answer to the question of which version of the exam to choose. We have prepared an answer for you in the form of IS2QP question regarding the decision table. You can pause the video and familiarize yourself with it. For those who are new to the IS2QB exam, we will give one tip. If you are not registered for the version 3.1 exam, but you are already registered for the version 4.0 IS2QB exam, then it does not matter whether you have started training or not, and it does not matter that you are an idealist. You are forced to prepare for the 4.0 exam. We will learn how to understand and solve such decision tables in Chapter 4. This table is pretty simple and straightforward, so you shouldn't have any problems with it. You can pause the video and get familiar with it. And we move on to the last part of our video. Let's find the answer to the question. Are there changes in the new version of the exam, and if so, how significant are they? If we look at the structure of the exam in 3.1 and the structure in 4.0, then you can think that there are no changes at all. Some names have been changed, that's all. In fact, there are changes, 
but they are hidden. Long story short, 60 to 70 percent of the content remained the same in version 4.0 as it was in version 3.1. Something was renamed, something was rephrased, something was explained better, and something worse. But the 60 to 70 percent of the core theory remained unchanged. Let's take a closer look at this using the example of chapter 4. As you can see, the title of the chapter has changed. It was called Test Techniques in version 3.1. And in version 4.0, it's called Test Analysis and Design. But if you look more closely, you can see that most of the structure of the chapter has not changed. We highlighted in red everything that almost did not change, only renamed. One paragraph has been removed, related to the use case test techniques. One paragraph has been changed from decision testing to the branch testing. The content of those are quite different. The change is not only in the name. Three paragraphs were added, which are mostly related to agile testing. As we noted earlier, there are changes, but not so grandiose and all encompassing. Of course, not only the structure of the chapter has changed, but also the content. For example, BVA, Boundary Value Analysis Test Technique. If we check the content of the paragraph, we will notice that it's not the same. The content itself is changed. But the core theory of the chapter has not changed. It is paraphrased and explained in a different style. Better or worse, it's hard to say. The same situation with other chapters. Something was renamed, something was rephrased, something was explained better, and something worse. But the core theory of 60-70% of the content remained unchanged. We can talk for hours about changes, but we believe that based on this information, you can decide which version of the exam to prepare for. You can pause the video and check the decision table one more time. That's all that we wanted to share in this video. See you in the next lecture.